Hello lovelies, this is Megan from Little Hot Tamale and today we are going to create two different kinds of shaker pockets. So here are some examples of some of the projects that you can create with this tutorial. To get started, you'll need a template of an envelope and I provided two different sizes of coin envelopes for this project for you guys so you can get the printable in the description of this video. Alright, so just trace around your template on your favorite scrapbook paper or you can create your own background paper and then you'll just fold in the sides like this and make sure you have the edges nice and crisp you can either use a bone folder or your pencil for our first shaker envelope, we're going to create a basic window. To do this, we're going to take a ruler and line it up with the creased edge. I'm doing two sets of lines because I wasn't satisfied with the size of my original window. Next, we're going to cut out our window with an X-Acto knife. You can use a ruler as a guide, but I decided to do it freehand and I'm cutting my second set of lines because I preferred a larger window. Okay, so next we're going to take tool and you'll need two pieces and make sure it's a little bit larger than your envelope and place both pieces on the back side of your envelope and then you're going to sew the left, the bottom, and the right. And I'm using a sewing machine for this one and make sure that the paper is right side up in your sewing machine. Okay, so get your favorite sequin mix out. I recommend using nothing smaller than chunky glitter, similar to the gold glitter, because if it's anything smaller, it will most likely fall through the holes of the tool. Then you're going back to your sewing machine to start from the top, the right, the bottom, the left, and the top again. For my envelope, I did not backstitch because there are two sewn lines all the way around the circumference of the coin envelope and I felt like two is enough of a barrier. Next you're just going to cut off the excess tool and the key thing to remember is to make sure there isn't any tool in the crease of the coin envelope and that you don't cut too close to the sewn barrier. Next we're going to decorate our envelope and I thought these cassette tapes would be perfect with this fun paper and these are available in my Etsy shop Little Hot Tamale and I'll leave the link down below if you would like to check it out. And I'm just layering the cassette on top of a handmade rosette and if you are not familiar with Crepe paper rosettes, I have a tutorial for this and I'll also leave the link in the description of this video for you. And then we're just going to take a fun phrase and we're going to put that on crepe paper and make a border with it and hot pink. Use a little bit of terrifically tacky tape and there you go. A completed shaker pocket. Oh, I forgot some gemstones. I use large ones and small ones. Well, one large and one small. <laughs> okay, so that one is done. Next shaker envelope is a sewing machine free one. So that's awesome. So this one's cool because you can create your own designs. And for this one, I thought it'd be nice to make a simple heart. So I'm just taking some scrap paper, folding over the edge and doing a half heart. That way you can have a symmetrical one. So my first attempt, I didn't really like my heart. It seemed too narrow. So I'm just going to try it again and make it a little bit more chunky. Chunky is not the right word. I mean wide. <laughs> okay, there you go. That one is perfect. So I'm just going to trace it on the back use my exacto knife to cut it out. Next you'll need a cheap page protector and cut out a rectangle from it 
and you'll only need one piece of it. But of course you can try using two and omit the tool part. But for this one, we're going to use one piece of plastic and one piece of tool. Then we're going to layer those pieces. So first the plastic, the tool, then the envelope. Then you'll need something to poke holes in it. And I'm using a sculpting tool. And I like to start at a point and work my way around. And if your envelope starts sliding, you can always put a straight pin in one of the holes that you created. And then you can pick out your favorite embroidery thread. And I chose yellow. And I felt like six threads was just a little bit too thick. So I went with five. And then the thread that I removed, I'm just going to use it on an embellishment. So then we're going to do a back stitch, but you can always do a different stitch, like a chain stitch. And you're going to do the top half of your heart. So if you're sure you have a knot on the end of your thread, and start on the back, bring it through, go to the next hole. And then go to the next hole on the back, bring it through to the front, and then go back through the same hole that you went through earlier. Then go to the back, skip a hole, and then go back through the previous hole. So, if you're not familiar with a back stitch, I recommend watching a tutorial on how to do a back stitch. Okay, so once you go halfway around your heart, you'll just use your favorite sequin mix, fill it up between the two layers, and then you'll finish your back stitch. If you're struggling with the back stitch, I will leave a link to a tutorial that can help you in the description. Okay, so once you're done with your back stitch, you're just going to make a few knots on the back, and I always like to go through some of the previous stitches and create like slip knots. Alright, and then you're just going to cut off the excess tool and plastic. And then we're just going to glue it together, and I'm just using tacky glue. Here are some cute examples on how to decorate your coin envelope. You can either use a crepe paper rosette with some thread. You can also do two rows of embroidery thread, like the heart that's black and white. Or you can leave it plain for a pocket letter. So here's a mini pocket letter that I used my coin envelope in and for mine I decided to leave it plain because I wanted to show off the cute paper. Alright so that's how I make my shaker envelopes and here are a few more examples using the same technique. So thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and I hope you have an amazing day. Toodles!